Hi, I'm Katie. Hi, I'm Georgie. And we're educators here at the Powerhouse Museum. And today we're going to be guiding you through the exercises in the Quick Start Thinker Shield Guide. A Thinker Shield is a shield created here at the Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences that works with the Arduino board. We've put lots of different components on the board to make getting started with coding as easy as possible. Why don't we get, get on, on with it? it. So we're going to start off with the exercise Getting Flashy, which you can find on page 14 of your Quick Start Thinker Shield Guide. If you don't have the Quick Start Guide, you can download it for free as a PDF from our website. Let's have a quick look at the empty project. Every Arduino script has a setup function which runs once, and it lets you initialize things and loop a function which runs forever and ever. Now the code for these functions goes in between braces, which look like curly brackets. We're going to start by declaring a variable. This is like a container or a bucket which holds things. We're going to write int at the beginning of our code as it's going to be a type of integer. This means that there is a whole number rather than a decimal point number. Then we're going to give our variable a name and a number. That number is the LED which will be turned on. Have a look at your thinker shield to determine the pin of the LED which you want to turn on. And make sure to always put a semicolon at the end of your code, it's kind of like putting a full stop there. Then we're going to tell our board if the pin is an output or an input. To do this, we go to our setup function which runs once when you turn the board on and write pin mode LED pin equals output. We put output because we're making the light flash. If we were controlling a button instead of an LED, we would write input. Next we go to our loop function which runs forever and ever and if we write digital write LED pin high, our light will be turned on as high represents the voltage level. Then we're going to add in a delay of 1000 which means there'll be a 1000 millisecond delay. Then we'll repeat what we just wrote, but instead of writing high, we'll write low to turn our LED off. So now if you hit the upload button, you should see that light 12 is starting to blink. It got flashy, and we hope that yours did too. Thank you so much for watching, and until we see you next time, get on with it!